Hello everyone, welcome to JavaScript tutorial for beginner. In this tutorial, we are going to see on click event in JavaScript. So, let me just first make a button over here. So, over here we will say button, and inside it, we are going to say click me. So, right now, let me just save this and let me just open it in the browser over here. Here you can see we have a button over here, click me. Let me just zoom in here, we have the button, click me. So, right now, uh, what you want is that when you click this button, we want to show it a alert let's say so here inside the button we can show over here on click equal to we will give to double quotation and inside it we are going to show our here alert then we will give to first bracket and we will give to single quotation not double quotation because we already have double quotation outside alert so we need to use single quotation if you use double quotation you will get a error so here we are going to say you clicked the button so right now if we just save this and if we just now click on the button click me it should give us a alert that you click the button let me just save this and let's go to our browser let's refresh here and here if i just click over here here you can see it give us a alert you click the button so right now we can just write it in a proper way so instead of mentioning the alert directly over here we'll just mention a function name and let's say here function name will be show message and then we'll give to first bracket so right now we'll go inside this skip tag at the end of our body and here we are going to say function show message then to first bracket okay let's just keep the m capital i think that will be easier to read then we'll give to second bracket and here we are going to say over here alert you clicked the button so it will basically do the same thing so let's save this and let's just refresh here again and if you click over here here you can see you click the button so basically here when you are clicking on this button it will call this function show message and this function will show us the alert now let's say we have one more button over here let me just copy this and let's over here click me Two and instead of show message we'll say show message two so let me just copy this and I will just paste it over here and here we'll say show message two and you click the button two so right now let's save this again let's refresh here we have two button over here if we click on this it will show you click the button and if you click on this click me two, it will show you click the button two. so right now uh, basically we can use on click event uh, not only in button in other tag as well like anchor tag or p tag let me just show you here we'll give a p tag and let's say in the p tag we'll say here hello and inside the p tag we can say over here on click equal to alert to first bracket to single quotation and we'll say here hello let me just save this refresh here we have a text over here you can see hello and if i click on this it still shows the alert so right now let's say when you click on the button then it will change the text so for it what we need to do is that let's go back to our code and let's remove the on click from the p tag and let's say when you click a button it will change the text from here and right now inside this p tag we are going to mention an id and let's say over here id name will be message let's save this and here right now let's just remove the alert from here and inside this show message function we're going to say make declare variable var text equal to document dot we'll use query selector query selector then to first bracket to single quotation or double quotation and we'll give a hash over here and we'll mention the id let me just copy this then paste it over here and after this here we are going to mention this text and we'll just say over here text dot inner html equal to to double quotation and let's say inside this double quotation we are going to say hello from button on so what it will do is that when you click on the button click me what it will do is that it will select the text from the p tag over here from this id and then it will change the text from hello to hello from button on so let's save this and let's just refresh here 
and if you click on the first button here you can see the text changed over here let's do the same thing for the second button as well so here let me just copy this and we're going to paste it over here and first of all we still need to get the id for this p tag and then here we're going to say hello from button 2 so right now save then refresh here and if i click over here click me hello from button on and if i click this button click me to here you can see hello from button 2 and we can also make this code a little bit simple and here you can see uh, we write hard text document dot query selector message two times so we can just do it on time let me just remove this and remove this as well so what we will do is that before the function just inside the script first we will mention this var text equal to document dot query selector message so this way this var text uh, will be able to get in both function uh, show message and show message too okay so right now if we save this it will still do the same thing here you can see hello from button on and hello from button two so this is all about this tutorial so in the next tutorial we will see how we can change image on button click in javascript i hope you like this tutorial and you learn something new from this tutorial if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and if you want more video like this then make sure to subscribe this channel thanks again for watching i will see you in the next tutorial